Hey, welcome guys again. This is Math Problems. Again, don't forget to subscribe, share, likes, and watch my video. Okay, let's continue our problem uh, number nine. This is already the part two of my video. The given is if A is equals to three, then two over one over seven and one over eight. So let's try this one. Let's have the right equation. 2 over 17 plus 1 over A. So if A is what you call this one. Sorry, this is 1. And the other one is A, which is equivalent to A is equals to 3. If this is A, we'll change this one to 3. Okay, so we will write this uh, equation. How do we solve for this one? Okay, so how do we solve for... First, we need to get the... Sorry, this is only 1 over 7. So, what is the LCD of 7 and 3, which is 21? 21 divided by 7 is 3 times 1. And 21 divided by 3 is 7 times 1. So, 3 times 1 is 3 plus 7. The answer is 21. This is 10 over 21. But we have 2. So, we have 2. Uh, 2, 10 over 21. And if we will change this one, this is, this is 2 over 10 times 21 and the answer is 42 over 10 but we need to divisible by 2 by 2 this is 21 over 5 so the answer is letter e so this is the answer this is already in a fraction okay so substitution okay let's have number 10 let's have number 10 let's try to erase this one again okay let's have number 10 which uh which line or lines are perpendicular to the line y 6x minus 8 line perpendicular when we speak about perpendicular Suppose this is our x and y axis. Suppose this is y, 6x minus. When we speak perpendicular, it is the opposite of this line. Or the line is already in a cross. So, we are, our equation is y, 6x minus 8. So, again, so 6x minus 8. All you have to do is to get the reciprocal. This is our m of x, or this is the slope. Yes. Y is equals to, let's try to erase this one again. This is the given. Y is equals to 6x minus 8. And we know that the reciprocal of six, uh, 6x is, 1 over 6x or this is positive automatically this is negative 6x so let's try to find out where are the given y 6x plus 1 and then x minus 6y which is not and then x will be 6y is equals to 3 and then y is equals to negative 6x minus 1. So the answer is letter D. So this is the fine. So the, the reciprocal of 6x is negative 6x minus 1. So this is the perpendicular. Okay. So let's have number let's have number 11. Okay. This is the problem. Okay. I think this is already a circle. Let's try to erase this one again. 
The given is what is the standard equation of a circle with a center 3 and 4 and the radius of 2. Okay, what will be the formula for the circle? And we know that the circle, if this is already our x and y axis, so if we will have the x and y axis, if this is the center, we have the x squared plus y squared is equals to r squared, right? But take note, this is not in the center of the quadrant. So, let's have the coordinates between. So, we have x minus h squared plus y minus k squared and then r squared. So, if we will have a line from this part, if this is our circle, sorry. So we have the circle. What will be our, it can be here. This is the, the H and this is the K. Or maybe it here or here or here, but it's not in the center. We will use this formula. X minus H squared, Y minus K squared, and then R squared. So, our given is, take note, center 3 and negative 4 and radius of R. So, which satisfy the equation. Again, so X minus 3 squared. And then, our K will be negative Y minus negative 4 squared and radius is 2 squared so again x minus 3 squared and we know that y plus 4 squared why because negative times negative is positive and this will be 2 squared will become 4 so our answer is x minus 3 plus y plus 4 squared will become 4 and what will be the answer? It's letter it's letter B. So this is our answer. Don't forget the formula for the circle equation. This is not a uh, this is only a formula for the circle. Okay, let's have question number 12. Again, let's try to erase this one. This is question number 12. Which of the following expression shows associative property? A5 times 7 plus 2, which equal to 2 plus 5 times 7. B5 plus 7 is equal to 7 plus 5. And letter C, 5 times 7, quantity times 2 is equal to 5 times 7 times 2. Which of the thing is an associative? When we speak the properties of this given equation, we know that this two is considered as commutative property. When we speak pi plus 7 is equal to 7 plus 5, this is commutative property. They only changed, but they did not change the answer. While this one, this is also the same as commutative. While this one is associated because it inserted as a parenthesis and it changed to another parenthesis. Because 5 times is 7 is 35. 35 times 2 is 70. Okay, let's try to erase this one. So the best answer for this one is letter C. This is associate. Multiply by 2 quantity squared and 7 times 2. Okay, let's have this one. Number 13. All of the following are ways to write 25% of N except, take note, except meaning we need to reject one of the part given. 25%, what does it mean? 
So 25%. We know that percent is 100. And we will change this one. 25 over 100. Okay. So do you think when we speak 25%, we can change this one to decimal? 0. 0.25. Which is also the N. 25 over N. That's correct. That's correct. This is 1. This is 2. 1 fourth. You know the 25 and 100% is divisible by 4. Or sorry, by 25 also. By 25. Let's try to erase this one again. 25 over 100. is divisible by 25 as well as 25 so 25 and 25 is 1 over 4 we can also use this one how about this one so the answer is letter d so it means to say this is an except so this answer can be related to this one this answer can be related to this one and 0.25 can be related to this one. Okay, so let's have question number 14. Let's try to erase. Question number 14. What is the lowest term of 30 over 20? Lowest term, we know that 30 over 120 is divisible by 30 right so 30 divided by 30 this is 1 over 4 so the answer is 1 fourth is there 1 over 40 1 half 3 over 4 1 fifth or none of the above so the answer is letter e none of the above so again Let's have question number 15. Let's try to answer for this one. Again, we need to erase. Okay. So, 27.8 times 9.6. So, do you know how to multiply a, with the decimal? So all you have to do is 27.8 times 9.6. We have 8 times 6 is 48. 7 times 6 is 42 plus 4. We have 46. 2 times 6 is 12. 12 plus 4 is 16. 9 times 8 is 72. 7. And 9 times 7 is 63. 63 plus 7. We have 70. Carry 7. 9 times 2 is 18. 18 plus 7. We have 27. So, and if you are doubt, if you think you are an engineering, you are required to use your calculator or math word exam. Just only press 28.8 times 9.6 and the answer is 276.48. So the answer is 276.48. We have 300 here and 280 and the answer is letter A. Okay, so... The answer is letter A. Is the answer is two two eighty. Okay, let's have um Okay, thank you very much guys. So we will proceed to our next video.